Okay, so today I'm going to do a quick overview on the brand Taka, or is it Toka? I think it's Taka. Not sure. Sorry, probably saying it wrong. Anyway, um, I don't think the Passport collection is still available. Um, however, all the fragrances in this line still are. I'm pretty sure you can still find this on eBay and Amazon and um, other sites. If you Google it, I found it on a few different places if you're interested in getting just a variety. But they do have other um, smaller sets available. All the fragrances are in here like this. So the scents I'll be going over today are Florence, Cleopatra, Stella, Giulietta, Simone, Colette, Emilia, and Bianca. So this is mostly to give you an idea of the types of fragrances that this brand carries. Not so much a review on this exact set. I do have some notes. Okay, so I'm not going to read off the whole note breakdown to you. I'm just going to um, read from my notes what I notice most about the fragrance and what kind of makes it stand out to me. So um, the first one I tried was a Florence, and this is supposed to be representative of a Parisian sophisticate. It was a little sweet and heavy to be sophisticated, in my opinion. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought this was qu a quite heavy white floral. Um, the primary notes that I can detect in this are gardenia, jasmine, tuberose, and musk, mostly tuberose and musk. So that kind of made it that thick, sweet, heavy sort of scent. And also bear in mind, this could just be how they are wearing on my skin. It um, could wear on other people completely differently, so do bear that in mind. Anyway, the second one that I tried was Cleopatra. I enjoyed the scent a lot. It was like a floriental sort of style. The primary notes that I could detect in this were jasmine, amber, and vanilla. Um, I really enjoyed the scent of this. However, it did not last very long on my skin. So um, I would say Florence probably lasted upwards of eight hours. Cleopatra lasted upwards of one hour. <laughs> Next I tried, oh, Cleopatra is supposed to be representing representative of a Mediterranean seductress. And next I tried Stella, which is supposed to represent a tempestuous young Italian beauty. Um, it did kind of have that sort of Mediterranean Italian feel to it, but not as much as another one. It was a pretty basic citrus floral. Um, the primary notes that I could detect or bitter orange, blood orange, lily, and freesia. Um, this is a pretty basic scent. There's not a whole much, not a whole lot of uniqueness in it. So it was fine, but it was just nothing too special. Next I tried Julieta, which is supposed to represent a romantic and muse. Um, this one surprised me. Um, this was a floral scent and it was nicely floral without being soapy and it was not heavy. Um, the primary notes that I could detect are rose, ylang ylang, lilac, apple, cedarwood, and sandalwood. Um, the cedarwood and sandalwood are very light. They are very much in the background. The focus is very much on the apple, uh, on, on the florals, and the apple sort of keeps it lifted. Um, but yeah, uh, I was actually really surprised with this one and how much I liked it. So this one was very nice. Um, these both lasted around six hours. Um, Stella and Julietta both lasted around six hours on my skin. Next, I tried Simone, which is a for a fearless beach beauty. And this was a fresh citrus scent. Um, this one was also very basic and not very unique in my opinion. Um, I could mostly smell the lemon, ylang ylang, rose, and freesia. Um, it wasn't bad at all, but it wasn't like my style and it's also not just like super fantastic. I couldn't, I didn't get a lot of there's a little bit of ozonic notes in there, but not a whole lot of that wateriness, which is kind of good because I think that 
that sort of note is just saturating the market too much in my opinion right now, but that's just me. I would say this one lasted about five to six hours. Next, I tried Colette, which is a mysterious, alluring poet. And what I, it's just like a warm, woody, and sensey sort of scent. And the primary notes that I could detect from this on my skin were juniper, jasmine, incense, sandalwood, musk, and amber. And in my opinion, the juniper and musk combined sort of came off with this like sort of clovey scent, which was a little strange at first, but then it, it went away pretty quickly. But the whole thing went away pretty quickly. Um, I would say this one lasted less than four hours on my skin, which is disappointing because I really, really love the fragrance of this one. Next I tried Emilia, which is free-spirited and adventurous. The primary notes that I could detect in this were fig leaves, fig, coconut water, a little bit of the praline, and some of the ambrat seed. So I really, really enjoyed this one as well. This is probably my second favorite scent out of all of the, the ones that I've tried. Um, it did last about five to six hours. Um, it wasn't the most unique thing I've tried, but by far is one of the more unique ones from this set. So I did really enjoy that. The fig and coconut with the more green background I thought was really nice. And lastly, I tried Bianca, which is Radiant Bon Vivant. It's kind of hard to describe what category I'd put this in. Um, it was a little citrus, a little rose, a little green tea, and a little powderiness. So definitely you could smell lemon, bergamot, mandarin, and green tea, um, as well as some rose and some sort of powdery element in this as well. Um, and on my skin, things don't turn powdery very easily. This turned a little bit powdery, so that means on other people it probably would turn more powdery. So that's just an assumption based on my experience. But um, I think I would have enjoyed this a lot more without that powdery element um, because I think it kind of clashed with the green tea part of it. Um, and I like citrus and rose together, so um, for about the first half of the way, I really enjoyed it because I like that jammy sort of citrus rose mix. But later on, it kind of went to that more green tea powdery area, and that's where I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about this. Um, to back up a step, Emilia lasted on my skin around five to six hours. Bianca lasted on my skin around five hours. So. <laughs> Yes, that is my quick overview of the Taco Scents from the Passport Collection. If you have tried any of these or any others from Taka or Toka, also if you know how to pronounce this, let me know. But if you tried any of these um, from this brand, let me know as well. Let me know what you thought. And that is all I have for you today. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time.